grown up riding horses and had my first pony when I was 14, called Shannon. I used to do show jumping on her, but we sadly lost her when she was 18 years old to colic. I don't think I stopped crying for about three months. I just missed her so much. And I never felt like I would find another horse that would fill the shoes that Shan had. It took me 14 months to decide to have another horse. So to find Valentine has just been amazing. I just knew from, from the minute that I saw her and rode her that I wanted to bring her home and give her the best home. I could never really imagine my life without Val now. She gives me so much happiness and she's always there for me and she's always a shoulder to cry on. I think everybody around the stables knows Val for how she makes people laugh by popping her head over the door and doing all the tricks that she can do. You can always go to Val's stable if you're having a bad day and you need cheering up. She can put a smile on your face. Uh, I'd had Valentine two years before she unfortunately became ill. I was at work and I had a phone call from another lady on the yard who said that she was rolling in the stable and we just knew that there was something not right with her. When I arrived at the stables, Valentine was already boxed onto the trailer and ready to go to the vets. She was so swollen in her stomach and she just looked really down and not bright in her eye. I just felt my heart sink and... I just couldn't believe that I'd be going through it a second time, having gone through it with Shannon already. When Val was referred into the hospital, she was quite painful with her colic, so we had to make a decision quite quickly as to whether she needed surgery or not. The vets gave me the decision of being able to have the operation done or to have Valentine put to sleep. Val had really picked me up after losing Shannon and given me a lot of joy and happiness in having her. It was really scary to know that I'd got to make that decision to put another horse through having the same surgery. To have lost her as well would have just been just devastating. For me, the only option was to have the surgery done for her because it wasn't an option for me to lose her. With Val, the large intestine had twisted on itself and the challenge during surgery is to one, get that out and untwist it and then empty it all out and assess the gut to make sure it's okay for it to, to go back inside. Whilst I was in bed that night, I just kept thinking that she wasn't going to come out of the surgery and I was just willing her to get better and come back. But the vets gave her such amazing care that six days later she was able to come home. I think it's always really important to be on guard because you never know when it might happen to you. Having the insurance that I had with Pet Plan was a huge relief and it was a weight taken off my mind. It was just one less thing that I had to worry about and just meant that I could concentrate on getting her better. I felt like I did absolutely everything that I could to get Val better again and to know that she's come out the other side and she's still the happy horse that she was before is just the best feeling. I'm so glad that she's still here and I'm still able to give her all the love and attention that I wanted to give her. I couldn't imagine my life without seeing Valentine every day. <laughs>